Can y'all see that? It's actually the DA logo. And as of right now, they no longer exist. What's up guys, welcome back to the Dobbin ETV. Today's another amazing day to get after it. We're gonna be better today than we were yesterday. If you haven't heard the news, the US Developmental Soccer Academies have all been officially closed. And you know these teams by this little logo they have, uh, the DA, most people know about them by, have been officially closed as of April 15th. This is a very sad time because a lot of these academies were put together so that children everywhere could have a team they could be a part of and grow in their soccer career. And as of right now, it sometimes makes me sad because all the penny banks that I had to break to be able to pay to stay on my team is extremely saddening because I know that all my investments went to waste. I mean, it's not like they were charging me too much. They were just charging me a little bit over $200 per month. A child who's 17 years old, who their parents don't really think or know if they should invest in this kid because they've never seen him play, you know? So you're, you know, putting all that on us to pay each month. And then there's parents who pay even more than that so their child can start, you know, the, you know, the, the good stuff, the good stuff. But now you're telling us that, you know, due to the circumstances, they can no longer afford or support the whole program in total. So if you are part of a DA team, I'm sorry to say this, but there is no more. But there's good news. There's good news. Even though they closed it, you know, don't worry about it. The same day, pretty much, that they announced that the DA is closing, the MLS has resulted in a new MLS Academy. It's almost as if this was all planned out by the MLS, and you know, who knows? Maybe MLS runs everything low key because as of right now, the only youth academies that they're going to be right now are the MLS Academies. So you may be wondering, is this a good thing or a bad thing? and it all depends on where you stand on the spectrum. So let's put it like this. Out of the 200 DA teams that were there and all the new ones that were coming up, they all had full squads and even extra players to have two teams, A teams and B teams, right? Now you close all of them, boom, it's done. And now the MLS creates this new league. And mind this, a lot of the MLS teams already have their academy teams. So it's not like they need to go out and find and pick and choose all these DA players. But out of the 200 teams that have been completely turned off, now all of those kids have to compete against all the other thousands of kids in there to make it to one of these MLS teams. So now it just makes the MLS academy teams even more elite. And maybe it will help push others to work even harder to make these teams because a lot of the times in a lot of these DA teams, as long as your parents had the money, you got to play. And if you didn't have the money, you know what? You started off on right bench, so it's okay. Now there's a new way for our young youth to grow. For an example, with the shirt I'm wearing, this team is called Rush, and it's a Texas team. And pretty much they already got shut down, I think like two years ago. Well, they didn't really get shut down, they just merged with another bigger team and it become one unity. And um, a lot of those kids that thought they were cold, you know, good, etc., they were ready to, you know, kill it in the fall or next year. You know, now they no longer have to wear this, so they might as well just, you know, you know hang it up for memories. Or better yet, you know, just get rid of it. You know, you don't know what's gonna happen now. And now, you know what you need to do, right? You gotta try to make the MLS team. First things first, you have to be willing to work harder. If you were lifting little weights, that can't be happening anymore. You gotta pick it up. You have to remember, everybody else just got cut from their soccer teams and they're all coming for the same position that you're trying to attain. And it's a good thing because now, a lot of you kids that never worked out seriously, maybe now you can work out even more serious so you can make the, ow, wow, this is heavy. Whew. So you guys can make the MLS team. Uh, right now I'm just carrying, uh, I think it's like a 
25 or 15 in a tent on both sides and just holding it and trying to talk to you guys is actually very tiring, so I'm gonna put this down. So after you finally think you're ready to go try out for any of the MLS or the USL teams, but because they're the only ones left, maybe you're finally gonna get the chance to get your jersey. So once you make your team, you're gonna be able to be playing on the MLS Academy teams. So yes, this is an official um, Houston Dynamo Academy jersey. And if you try out for their team, if you make any of their academies, you will be receiving one of these and you'll be able to play on the MLS Academy team. Since all these DA teams have been completely turned off, use this time to focus on your craft because competition has just become so much harder for anybody who was in a DA team. You wanna try your best to try to get on one of these MLS teams or USL teams, their academy teams. So this way, even though you don't play or stuff, but you have a, 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 a better path to become a professional because the team you're actually playing on is linked with the pro team. And they do have scrimmages with each other. This will give you more eyesight by the pro coaches all the time so whenever you're 18 or you're graduating, maybe if you don't wanna to go to college, you can go straight to the professional world versus you know being in a DA team. They have their contacts here and there, but it's still not promised because coaches prefer somebody who's been training their team style since they were in their youth academies. So another good thing about all the DA academy being closed is now kids can focus on trying to make all the other teams. So people who were comfortable playing in their ESCNL teams, et cetera, now they can put their vision on trying to make a UPSL team or a USL2 team during the summer. The competition of both of these teams, I promise you are much higher than most of the D8 teams. So if you're not going back to your high school team, being on a UPSL team will do you so much favor because UPSL teams do scrimmage MLS academies and they win meaning because you because if you join a UPSL team you're gonna be playing with men and if you're 16 and all your teammates are 18 19 20 you're gonna meet players who are very skilled and you're gonna adjust to playing with grown men there's gonna be players who are 200 pounds and you're over here 158 you gotta learn how to defend them against that and as by the time you're 18 your confidence level is on a different scale because you're already used to playing with grown men and it's a piece of cake for you at that point. Another good thing about this is, now if you're like me and you like watching high school games, now there's gonna be better players on each team because there's gonna be players who can't find or make it to the MLS Academy teams. Now they're gonna be left to play on their high school teams. And I wanna go see some higher level high school games because high school games is always fun. There's a big crowd, everybody cheering. cheering. There's stupid things going on in the bleachers and it's fun to be in that environment. But most academy games and teams, you might have like, you know, you'll have the five parents watching you guys play. That's my son, Jordanico. But at a high school game, you have a bunch of the high school students. Most of them don't know anything about soccer, but they're just there to support your team. And it's a good energy, especially if you're on the pitch. So I, you know, if you're gonna be playing on a high school team, take advantage of it, make the best out of it. You know, don't give up just because it's a high school team. A lot of players that only can't afford to play high school, they still get full rides, scholarships, etc. And now you don't have to worry about, you know, if you play in high school, you can't get the scholarship because everybody got sent back to high school pretty much. So the scouts are gonna be coming back to the high school games to watch you guys play. So don't drop your level just, yet, just because you're gonna be playing in high school. But now even use this platform to stand out even more against players who don't have the vision to be playing at the next level. So that's all I have to say for you guys who are playing in the DA or was playing. Now that everything has been canceled, try your best to find an MLS Academy, try out for it, make it. If you don't make it, try again. Don't be afraid to keep pushing and keep pushing until you make it. Do what you need to do. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you guys for watching this video and Joe Dalvin TV is I can't feel my face, but nothing really